Hey brainstormers, welcome to Chess Minds. Today we have got a brilliant game by Carlsen. The game is between Carlsen and Eric, played in 2001 Junior Team Championship on October 12th, and it's a version of Nimzo Indian Defense. And it's a very short game from Carlsen because it's a blitz game. So Carlsen begins with e4 c6 d4 capturing the center centers by Carlsen Eric replies by d5 right Carlsen goes for e takes c takes c4 and f6 and c3 e6 and f3 bishop b4 Pinning the knight and the king. So after we have bishop b4, then bishop d3, then nc6, castle, castle, bishop g5. Uh, here he is just pinning the queen, but it's a good move. Then Eric goes for bishop e7 but here he could have also gone for something like d takes then bishop takes h6 threatening the bishop capture so bishop h4 bishop e7 and then after that bishop e7 he can anytime go there so we have a good position the carlson is not capturing the centers anymore So after that we get we can get rook e1, a6, bishop g3. This is a good diagonal for bishop obviously. So we can get that anytime. Then b6. Now we can get his bishop here and then attack something like that afterwards. After that a3, preventing the bishop from again coming here and pinning the rook something like that. After that bishop b7 and then the game continues. But Eric directly goes for bishop e7. After that, Carlsen goes for a3, preventing the bishop from here, obviously. And then a6, c5. Carlsen is just blocked the bishop uh, diagonal, and it's a good move. Then knight e8, bishop takes e7, knight takes b4. This is a Good pawn structure by this is a good pawn structure, obviously, by Carlson. Yeah, and it captures good squares also. Yeah. Uh, now, Carlson is covering a great square, great board area. Then, an f6 we have from Eric, and e5 capturing knight in the center. So, now good squares again from Carlson. Then, knight c6. Now before getting that we can also get something like bishop d7 or this is a better move I guess because it opens the bishop diagonal somehow because after this then after playing knight we directly get knight captures and then this bishop doesn't get chance to move so this is a better move I guess. After that we get something like rook c1 then we can go to obviously b6 break threat like breaking the pawn structure or something. Then rook e1, qc7, knight a4, bishop takes, queen takes, now threatening the queen to go back. So qc2, g5, qd2, nd7, nf3, nc6. And now we have a better structure by black, better pawn structure. Knights are properly placed, king is safeguarded. Yeah, so it's better. The bishops is of no use now. Sorry, the bishops diagonals are blocked here. He can't go. Knights also properly guarding the squares. Queens guarding it, so no big threats. The rooks can anytime come to the squares, attack the king. Now, so it's a good position for black also. But he directly goes for Eric goes for n c six. Then we have. Knight takes, b takes, queen e2, 
preparing for rooks to attack on the king something afterwards like this and something like this it can get so qe2 bb7 but this is a just a waste move because the bishop size are you can't uh, immediately go on attacking this something the diagonals are blocked this is a i don't think it's a good move because it's not big uh, just the eyes are blocked of the bishop you can't do anything here now so afterwards rook a b1 qe7 and here we it's a bad move he could have gone here to something like uh, queen c7 or something like that but here we get a very very big threats by Carlson and you know great minds we have push you obviously can't kill it because you just win the queen so for this he immediately Carlson immediately goes for f4 we have g6 but Carlson goes ahead by pushing it now takes bishop takes and the king is no more safe the structure is broken bishop takes you can't take with the pawn because queen is gone so now queen to e5 pinning the king by the knight so again to king g8 rook f3 very big threats like something like this now this rook also can come here anytime and attack so uh, this is also a big blunder by Eric uh, we can get some good moves here like in, this is a gone position means the king is not safe anymore it's the structure is all open so uh, instead of rook f8 we can get something like h6 then check king h8 rook f1 rook g8 bishop b1 rook takes rook takes queen takes queen takes rook b7 knight e2 king g8 and then again the bishop is gone something like that but the game extends to a few moves extra instead you can't do anything now so takes bishop takes king knight pinning so king again rook threatening checks or directly here and the pawn is gone so something like that so bishop takes king takes rook takes f6 rook h8 queen uh, threatening this checkmate so we have queen f8 guarding the square but this rook again comes here queen g7 offering a queen trade rook takes pinning the queen so force queen takes and excellent game by carlson winning the game in just 28 moves okay so guys meet you next time with a better game so welcome thanks